Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. This video I'm going to talk about Sakamoto Days, Volume 1. I've only read Volume 1, so that's the first seven chapters, I believe, of Sakamoto Days. And it's a very, very interesting story. It's published in Shonen Jump, I believe. So, you know, there's a lot of action in it. It's like a comedy action series about, like, a spy, or an ex-hitman, I guess, is what they call him in the series. But he was, like, the world's greatest hitman. He, like, went around murdering a bunch of people, you know. And then he went and fell in love with this woman who was, like, a normal woman. And then he gave up being a hitman. And then, you know, since he's such, a, like, a powerful hitman and stuff, people are after him. And they want him dead because he was so strong in his prime. And, like, he was so powerful and stuff. And people want him dead because of this. So, you know, he's has to, like, he meets this other hitman who, so Sakamoto meets this other guy, and his, he has this ability to read minds, and Sakamoto, like, keeps, like, beats him up, I'm pretty sure, he, like, murders him, or not murders him, he, like, beats him up and stuff, and then the guy, like, joins him, because, like, that was his idol, when he was a hitman and stuff, and, like, since there's, like, a bounty on him, and everyone thinks that he's, like, soft and stuff, and then he gets captured by the mob, the other guy gets captured by the mob, and Sakamoto comes and saves him, and then he joins him at his, like, you know, uh, he runs, like, a grocery store, and he, like, joins him at the grocery store, and they become friends. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, and then they meet, like, a cop chick who, like, chases him for a while, and then they save her from a bunch of people. It's a very, there's a lot of action, and, like, it's really well drawn. Like, yeah, I think this is has some really good artwork. Like, the facial expressions are pretty good, and, like, the action scenes are incredible. And, like, they make Sakamoto look, like, badass throughout the entire series. And, like, the side characters are interesting and unique. Like, it's a very... I can see why the manga community keeps talking about this series. And I do think this series deserves an anime adaptation. I think if it's done right, it would be a really good anime adaptation. I have the... They're up to volume three, I think. Releases in America, and I have all three. But I haven't read the other two. And I'm very curious of where this series is going to go. And... It's just, it's, it's a, it's a little wordy for my taste, but, um, you know, it's not super wordy to get through. And, you know, the wife is cute. Like, she gets captured by some people, or, like, she's on a bus and it gets hijacked, and then, like, she's like, well, I'm not worried at all because Sakamoto's gonna save me, or her husband's gonna save her, and then he ends up saving her. They meet, like, a cop. She gets in trouble, and then they save her. Like, it's very much, he's very much a good guy. And, like, everyone in the town loves him. And he meets, like, this, like, one chick named, uh, Lou, or something like that. And they help her out. And then she comes and works for him, too. Like, they, she's, they help her get her family's, like, treasure back, which was an interesting plot. I think that was probably my favorite, like, chapters were with her in it. I think... It got a lot better there. Like, I wouldn't say this is, like, the greatest series I've ever want, read. That's obviously One Piece. But, like, is it worth reading? Yes. It does do the whole goofy, like, goofy serious thing pretty well, in my opinion. And I will continue to read it. Sakamoto's a very interesting guy. He likes food, obviously. He got fat, you know, and, like, there's one scene where he's fighting a bunch of guys and they get skinny again, and, like, this whole organization is after him because, you know, he's super powerful and they're, they're, like, they look at him and they, like, it has a good message where it's, like, don't judge a book by its cover, but, like, he's also trained his whole entire life for this, so, like, he should be at least decent at it, but he's also out of shape and, you know, fat and stuff and people would immediately judge him and say, oh, no, there's no way he could do this. There's no way. And, I mean, he beats up, like, literally everyone. Like, they don't even stand a chance. Like, there's some people that look pretty dangerous. Also, like, 
there's this whole like they go to an amusement park. He takes his daughter and his wife, and then the two employees. So the guy who can read minds and Lou, or Sue or something like that. And they, uh, they fight this bad guy that's on there. Beat one dude up, uh, which was interesting. Very, very interesting. They beat him up. And then, like, this, like, dude with, like, silver hair fights the guy who can read minds on, like, a roller coaster ride. And it's, like, such an interesting, I think it's, like, some of the best, like, chapter, like, panels in the whole entire manga. It's really, really well dri- drawn. And, you know. It's a very, very wholesome sto- story. Well, not wholesome, because it's like action and stuff. But like, you feel bad for Sakamoto. He's just trying to like live a normal life and stuff. And like these people just keep attacking him. And he's such like a helpful dude. He also meets this guy who can like, who he used to work with, who can like change his appearance, like, or he's like a, really good at disguises and stuff. And he tells him that he has, like, a $10 billion bounty on his head, which is interesting. I hope we see more of him. He was a very interesting character in the couple chapters, he or the one chapter he was in so far. Um, would I recommend somebody to read this? Yes. Will I continue to buy it? Uh, I would have to read the next two to figure out. You know, I thought the first volume was worth reading the second one. So I am going to read the second one. The second one looks interesting. It looks like it basically picks off exactly where the first one ended. And the art style is good. Um, the characters are interesting. You know, It's one of those series where like I picked it up because the manga community was all like, this. Ser- you need to read this series. You need to try this series. And I think the manga community is usually pretty accurate with most things are they the most accurate no we don't i don't have the same taste as every manga person ever but i think they're pretty accurate most of the time um and they're you know you gotta try see like i feel like this deserves a anime like spy x family got an anime there's also a lot more spy x family material there's eight volumes in america so far you know and Spy X Family in Sakamoto Days feel kind of similar. I think Spy X Family is better. But that's only off of the first volume. And I've watched 12 episodes. Or I've watched 15 episodes of Spy X Family. 16 episodes. Something like that. So like there's a big difference in the amount of content I have consumed of both of those series. But like it gives me very similar vibes. Because you know... Spy X family, Lloyd is a, you know, spy, and there's a lot of action. I don't know how good the art style is in the manga, but it's pretty good in the anime, so I'd assume it's pretty good in the manga. Like, the jokes hit. I'm definitely going to continue. I'm going to read Spy X family, so there is that. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.